Hey guys, welcome back to Davos video and our Wikidpad reference tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over images. Let's get started. Alright, so the easiest way and honestly the most reliable way to import images into Wiki is to click and drag the image that you want and to drop it into the appropriate place in your Wiki. So this is what this kind of looks like. So I've got my image here. Sorry, it's on the other screen. I'll pull it in and I'm gonna drop it. Now when I drop the file, it's gonna give me this paste file dialog. And so it's asking me, what do I wanna do with this file? Do I wanna use an absolute URL, a relative URL, copy into file storage or move into file storage? So for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna start with the bottom. Move into file storage is really self-explanatory. If you click this option and you hit okay, then what it's going to do is it's wikidpad knows where you got your picture and so it's going to take that picture and move it into the file storage relative to the wiki that you have open so in my case with this wikidpad reference it would move my picture into this wiki's reference so it would no longer exist in my pictures folder on my computer it would only exist in this wikidpad reference copying a file storage it's the same thing, but instead of permanently move, well, not permanently, but instead of moving the file, it's going to take that file, copy the information, put it into the file storage, and then you will have a permanent file in your file storage that the wiki can reference. And so even if you copy and paste all of your wiki files into a new computer, your file is going to remain with the wiki. Relative URLs and absolute URLs are a little bit more complicated. What I would recommend doing is that when you bring in images and ask you what you want to do with the file, I would, I would recommend that unless the file already exists in your Wikidpad file folders, my rule of thumb would be to say copy into file storage. Okay, so now we have our image imported into our page. Let's check it out in preview. All right, so this is a really good example of how Wikidpad doesn't really understand size or that it understands size, but it doesn't, it doesn't automatically resize things to fit to your page. So I'd recommend using um, open source software like GIMP or perhaps uh, paid software like um, Photoshop and other such programs in order to uh, change the size the relative size of your uh, images before you drop them into your uh, wiki. So here I'm going to delete this. Now it's important to note that if you delete the URL or if your URL isn't linked here or on any of your other pages, it will not delete the image from your file directory. So if you don't want your file directory to become huge and you know overinflated, you're going to want to go in and find out where it's been dropping the files, go in, make sure you don't have duplicates, or if there's files you aren't using anymore, you can remove those manually. Anyway, so I went ahead and I used GIMP to create a smaller version. I believe this one's a 62 by 64 pixel image. And we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that into our wiki. I wanna copy it into file storage and I'm going to hit okay. All right, so again, we have our relative URL link to files logo logo.png. The reason that this is files is that this is relative to my Wikidpad reference folder. So under my Wikidpad reference folder, I should find a file named files, and then there should be a picture named logo. All right, and no, this is not my logo. It's just logo size. So let's check it out in preview. And voila, I mean, that is tiny. That is very, very small. So the last thing is editing uh, image sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull in the larger version of this picture again. In this case, because I know that the image already exists in my files, I will, and I'm pulling it from that file directory, I'm just gonna use a relative URL so I don't double up on the image. All right, so one thing that you can do with an image like this 
where we have our smaller image here and we have a way blown up version here is we are going to go ahead and we're going to edit the size of the image. So when we go to edit the size of the image, I'm going to hurry and make a quick new header here for resizing images. The best way to resize an image is to do it externally and save a smaller image separately in your files folder that you can then drag into the wiki. You can use Wikidpad to resize images, but you probably won't be satisfied with the results. The images get a little clunky, they get kind of discolored and unfocused. So if you're not going to use a program like Photoshop or GIMP, you can use the Wikidpad function. So inside the brackets surrounding the file path for the image, you're going to go in and write greater than or less than sign R 100%. Then you're going to replace the number 100 with whatever percentage of expansion or shrinking that you want to apply to your image. So here we want to make the image a little bit smaller. So right here I'm going to put a little note. Shrinking of image. And then here, just inside our last bracket, we're going to type in our greater than or less than sign R. And let's say we only want this to be... 50% the size that it is, and then end with percentage sign all within our bracket. Okay, so now let's go back to preview mode and see how that turned out. So this is our small 62 by 64 pixel piece, and this is our larger piece, now 50% the size that it originally is. And you can see it's got kind of this fuzziness, some discoloration in different areas. I want to show you what that looks like if we take that down even more. We'll go to 25%. You can see the colors are discolored. It's getting darker in weird places. And when you deal with really, really large images or really high quality images, especially if you're trying to add anything that's even close to 4K in here, this is going to get worse and worse and worse. And when you try to scroll through multiple images, I mean, you can kind of see my, my screen slows down just a little as we hit that image because Wikidpad is just processing and trying to figure out what to do with it. So my recommendation, definitely use a free program like GIMP, or if you already have uh, the Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, I would recommend using that. That is the best way to resize an image. Um, but like I said, you can use the wikidpad function. And just so you know, if you if you're using the wikidpad function, you can take it down by margins with with minimal error. So here I'm going to go down to 95% rather. And there are tiny tiny marks that you can see, but if you're not if you're not trying to use the image for looks but more as a note placement or something, Maybe it's something like this and I want to make it slightly larger, you know, then these little tiny errors won't matter so much. You can actually see here, it might be harder on your screens, but there's actually a sort of grid. And you can see that Wikidpad is breaking it into smaller sections. So let's take that back down to 25. And I just want to show you guys what happens real quick when you try to expand an image. So let's say we want to expand our smaller logo image. By 15%. Remember that 100% is full size, and if you go less than 100, you're making it smaller. If you go larger than 100, you're making it larger. So in this case, 15% would be the equivalent of 115%. You take a look, it's marginally larger. Let's try 150%. Okay, so it's getting larger. You can see it's getting a little bit more blurry. Let's take it up to double the size. And there you have it. So it's good. It's placeholder. Wikidpad is doing the best it can. But like I said, best way to resize an image, do it externally, import it into your file directory for your, your wiki, and that will work best for you. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.